Hello guys, the DB Grinder here, back at it again with another video, and this time we have a 3v3 Iron Man, and the winning team will win 150, and the losing team will lose 150. Also, make sure to go ahead and check out the Coliseum if you want to play any money matches or Iron Mans yourself. And we have Sean Killian versus GG Gabriel XD. You can also go ahead and check out his YouTube link down below in the description. And let's go ahead. Actually, before we hop in, yeah, the reason why this video is going up late, set an alarm for 8:30. Phone died, woke up at 11.30 somehow, got 11 hours of sleep last night, and then I woke up, internet was out, I got I got full comboed, I got I got, I got called by, talents, crossed out, snake eye ash, black witch, I, I don't even know what I was supposed to do, but alright, 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 so we're gonna see Sean Killian go first, and then 41 versus 40, opening hands, we have Ash Blossom, 1 for 1, Imperm, Poplar, Bonfire, they have Poplar, 1 for 1, snake eye ash, cross out, Bonfire, so... I mean, obviously, like, Iron Man was going to see a lot more Snake Eye stuff. It's definitely, like, the, you know, the best deck in the format. Uh, so, they're going to start off with the Bonfire, grab out Snake Eye Ash, Normal Summon Effect, grab out Poplar. The opponent doesn't have any hand traps. Uh, so, now, Summon out Poplar, and then Poplar Effect, grab out the Divine Temple. Okay, Divine Temple, bring out Oak, Snake Eye Ash, then Self Plus Oak. Bring out Flame Burge, and then they're going to use Flame Burge plus Poplar to make IP. And then Poplar, Flame Burge, spell Trap Zone, summon back out too. And then we got Oak Effect to go ahead, bring out Snake Eye Ash, that's fine. And then one for one, discard Poplar, bring out Jet Synchron, and then Synchro off up into the Formula. Formula, draw Talons, Jet Synchron, discard Talons, summon out. And then go ahead and make the Appalooza. Oak sent itself plus Flame Burge. Bring out Flame Burge. Flame Burge spell Trap Zone IP. And then just set Imperm. Pass. Okay. So we have Appalooza 24. We have a Baron set up. We have IP game brought out. Imperm Ash. You know, follow up. They do have Cross out, which will trade with one of the non engines. Uh, they have Snake Eye Ash. God, it's such a bad draw for turn yeah they just submit the feet uh so going on to the next game now we will go ahead and we will see gg Gibriel go first we have bonfire magma bonfire ash blossom sornier okay uh you know bestial is pretty strong especially magma uh they have talents cross out ash blossom poplar summon limit Okay, so they have cross out talents, summon poplar effect, go grab out original, and then yeah, nothing on res, make link karibo, poplar, spell traps on itself, original send, activate ash blossom, chain cross out, and then bring out snake eye ash, snake eye ash, go grab out poplar, and then poplar summon out, and then we have talents. So talents look at the hand, hit back the bestial magma mutt. Uh, so this hand is not very good now. I mean, it's a bestial that's known, so they can play around it, and then, like, you know, well, play, obviously they're gonna end up putting a Dark Engrave, but, like, you know, they're not gonna, like, commit Flame Burge target, like, IP or something, if that's their only play, and then just lose to this, and then their engine isn't very strong here either. So far, we could just Ash Blossom. Um, they're gonna go Snake Eye Ash, send, bring out Oak, and then Oak Effect, bring out Snake Eye Ash, Oak send itself plus Snake Eye Ash, bring out Flame Burge, okay, and then Flame Burge onto Link Karibo, they said alright, and then use those to go up in the IP, Flame Burge summon back out, too sure, and then we're gonna go set summon limit, pass. Uh, okay. Okay, uh, draw Snake Eye Ash, activate Bonfire, the Ash Blossom it, but you know, we did draw extremely good there, Normal Summon, Effect, go grab out Poplar, and then Poplar Effect, Summon out, Poplar Effect, go Search, grab out Divine Temple, and then they're gonna go IP Effect, Chain Summon Limit, sure, yeah, they Chain Summon Limit so they can't use a Bestial, cause you know, there's nothing in Graveyard there, uh, so now go up in the SP and then Flame Burge, SP, Banish, and then go ahead. Wait. Oh, it wasn't Flame Burge. My bad, my bad. It was Poplar Target Flame Burge. Yep, 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 yep. I forgot. Yeah, because it was uh, definitely interesting how they built that. But okay, now they're going to go 
Activate Divine Temple, the Chain SP, go ahead, bring out Flame Bridge into the Spell and Trap Zone, End Phase, bring back, and then pass, they draw Talons. Um, now they're going to go Original, uh, go Search for Snake Eye Ash, put Oak back to the bottom, Snake Eye Ash then itself plus Summon Limit, bring out Oak, and then Oak Effect, bring back, we know they have Sornier plus Bonfire. Uh, so bring out Poplar, but they also have Divine Temple that can summon Flame Bridge, and then Flame Bridge that could summon something back out too. So Poplar, go grab out Divine Temple, and then activate Divine Temple, spell Trap Zone, Sneak Eye, Ash from the Graveyard, and then Oak Sun itself plus Ash, bring out Flame Bridge, okay. Uh, normal summon out Snake Eye Ash, effect, grab out Jet Synchron. Yeah, so we, we already knew they were on Pier, but now we know they're playing the Synchro stuff. Uh, then make Nightmare Phoenix, Nightmare Phoenix, Chain Link 1 on Divine Temple, Divine Temple, Chain Link 2, Summon Flame Burge, they draw on the cross out, and now they're going to go Divine Temple, Target Flame Burge, Chain Flame Burge to Summon Flame Burge, and then Activate Talents to Take Flame Burge, and then Flame Burge on the Snake Eye Ash. Oh my gosh, there's like 100 Flame Burges being used right now. 100 different interactions, but okay, they link off with the opponent's Flame Burge to Summon Hida, and then Hida Effect to Summon out Ash Blossom. And then use those to make Princess, Princess, summon back out Nightmare Phoenix. And then they're going to link off into Raging, and then World Sea, World Sea, you know, Banish, Bring Back, and then just Battle Phase Attack for Game. And if they try to drop Sornir, we just have World Sea pop. So on to game number three now, we will see Sean go first. We got Summon Limit, Jet Synchron, Original, Snake Eye, Ash called by. They have Ash Blossom, Cross Out, Snake Eye Ash, Cross Out, Bonfire. Okay. So Snake Eye Ash, grab out Poplar. I wonder if they have Cross Out for Summon Limit. Kind of doubt it though. Uh, so go ahead, grab out Poplar, Summon Poplar, Poplar Effect. Go grab out Divine Temple. And then activate Divine Temple, bring out Flame Burge, make Link Karibo, Poplar, spell Traps on itself, Snake Eye Ash, send to go Summon. And then they said okay. So they don't Ash that there. So they're going to go for Oak, and then Oak bring out Snake Eye Ash, Oak Sun itself plus Link Karibo, and then they decide to Ash that, but yeah, just didn't even matter because we had called by, and then go bring out Flame Burge, but okay, yeah, interesting how they use that Ash there, I guess it is fair, yeah, it's fair, they don't know about Original and Hand, so they're going to go for Flame Burge, and then make IP, Flame Bridge effect, summon back out two, and then IP plus Oak, make Princess, Princess, summon out Flame Bridge, Flame Bridge, spell Trap Zone IP, and then Original, send Princess, bring out Jet Synchron from hand, which is a huge difference between deck because, yeah, obviously, obviously just losing a card there. We didn't start with like Black Witch or Wanted or anything like that either, so we're not getting Savage. We don't need to summon out Jet this turn. Okay, we draw Black Witch. Uh, we're, we won't be going for this, right? Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah, no, 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 set, pass, they draw Black Witch. And then now they're going to go a normal summon out Snake Eye Ash, effect. And then they're thinking, and they said, okay, go grab out Poplar, and then Poplar effect, okay, summon out, Poplar effect, go search, grab out Divine Temple, and then flip summon limit, they're going to go Divine Temple, bring out Oak, Battle Phase to force out, you know, speed over formula. Okay, they let that go. Sure, sure. So we don't try to, you know, go in the Baron or anything. Now they're going to go Cross Out, Calling Summon Limit. They actually had it. Wow. Even if, even if they made Baron, though, it wouldn't stop it because, you know, you can only activate this once per turn. They just activate it again because they have another one. Uh, but now they're going to make Link Karibo. Wow, that is tough, though. Divine Temple, summon out IP. And then, yeah, the opponent has nothing there. They're going to go IP effect, chain the Flame Burge to summon out the opponent's Oak. And then make SP. And now new Chain Link, Divine Temple, Chain Link 1, Flame Burge 2, SP 3 on Ash, Oak 4 onto Jet. So summon, 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 banish, they take. And then new chain link, we're going to go Snake Eye Ash effect to go grab out Snake Eye Ash. That's fine. Oh, we do have Princess in Graveyard, still two. 
So now they're going to go Flame Burge onto the Princess. And then they're thinking if they want to chain SP there uh, to go ahead and banish, which they're going to go onto Link Kribo plus itself. And then activate Bonfire, go grab out Snake Eye Ash. And then summon Black Witch, discard Snake Eye Ash. And then activate the effect to go set. So it's going to go set original. Okay. And then they're going to go Black Witch plus Flame Burge, make Dark Charmer. And then Dark Charmer effect to take the IP there. And then go up into Princess. Princess effect, summon back out Snake Eye Ash. Snake Eye Ash then itself plus Divine Temple. Bring out Flame Burge. Yeah, because the last Snake Eye Ash got banished, but now they got access back to it. Two level 1 fires in Graveyard plus Flame Burge. Now Princess plus Flame Burge make Raging Phoenix. And then Flame Burge go ahead and summon back out from the Graveyard. Now make World Sea. World Sea effect. Banish. Special summon back out. And then, you know, choose where the opponent stuff goes. Uh, oh, true, true, true. There's also their Oak. Um, they said, think on the trigger effects here. Um, I mean, they have Princess. We do have to remember they are in main phase too, so it's not like they can just go for a game. Otherwise, that'd be really easy. Uh, so they're going to go Oak, Princess, Pop the Poplar, try to summon back out Snake Eye Ash from the Banish. They're going to chain Link Karibo. Sure, summon itself out. So bring out and then add back Snake Eye Ash. And then Raging Phoenix, Summon. Now link off Raging Phoenix plus Princess, make Nightmare Phoenix, pop Divine Temple, draw Effect Veiler. Uh, also, the game kind of bugged there because that Link Karibo is on field. Aw, oh, man, I hate when it does that. But, okay, I guess just pretend the Link Karibo is there. Now they're going to go ahead, link off, make SP, SP effect, go banish the original, and then go up into Hida. Sure, Hida effect go take, and then, okay, now the game's bugged, alright, cool, cut right here, oh my god, uh... okay, we are back, I fixed the replay, also now I gotta send this through an editor, which means it's not even gonna be up at one, I'm so sick, the world's actually against me today, but okay, Hida, bring out Oak, and then they're gonna use those to make Selene, Selene effect, gain counters, lose counters, summon back out from the graveyard, and then we'll be able to go up into a access code, and then access code, gain attack, effect, pop Ash, Jet Synchron, and then pop Link Karibo, sure, banish light, water, dark, that's all the attributes we have in our graveyard, and then we are thinking they said i mean they know snake eye ash they don't know the other card they're gonna go original send nightmare phoenix bring out poplar and then set cross out so we sent nightmare phoenix to bring out poplar there okay sure 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 pass they draw a bonfire and then there's gonna go main phase yeah the card in hand is unknown they're gonna go summon out black witch send summon limit and then Black Witch effect to go set. Then they're going to Princess the Poplar plus SP. Uh, they're thinking on that. I mean, Chain SP. Wait, what? They said, huh? We targeted SP. Oh, I thought it was Black Witch. I clicked on SP. Okay. Oh, yeah. That was definitely a mistake on their end. They didn't ask what the target was. And they didn't see what the target was. I mean, they definitely clicked it. Um, okay, fair enough. Poplar, Spell Trap Zone, Flame Burge, Normal Summon at Snake Eye Ash, Effect. And then Cross out that. Alright. And then... Okay, all they have left is Valor in hand that is unknown. So they're gonna go ahead, Link Off, make Hida. And then Hida to go take Oak. Chain Valor on that. And then from here, I mean, we have Jet Synchron Engrave that we could also use. Um, but we still have Poplar Index, so although we don't have a target for Poplar. So they're going to go activate Bonfire, search out Poplar, and then summon out Poplar. Sure. And then 
Now they can use Poplar plus Hida. Yup. Yo, these people are taking forever on their plays. Holy. Yeah. Okay, summon out Poplar. And then go up in the Selene effects. So Spell Trap Zone, Flame Bird, Selene. Go ahead, gain counters, lose counters, summon back out Black Witch, go for access code, effect plus 3k. And then we can use the access code effect to go pop, banish dark, there, you know, summon out Raging Phoenix, sure. And then access code, banish fire, pop, banish light, pop. And then battle phase, attack into the Link Karibo, uh, which, you know, effect, sure. And then pass. They draw a bonfire. Uh, let's see. They've gone through. Uh, assuming they sided down the one flame burge. Actually, they don't have any plays here. Yeah. Uh, I think that's just no plays. Guess we'll find out. Yep, yep. They just go ahead and admit the feet there. Yeah, they have nothing left. So. Yep, Jib loses the first match there. On to the next match. We have Sean Killian versus Amai. And we will go ahead and we will see Sean Killian decide to go first. 41 versus 40. Opening hands, we got Cross Out, Black Witch, Oak, Bonfire, Wanta. They have Monster Reborn, Bestial, Magma Mutt, Bonfire, Snake Eye, Ash, and Black Witch. So we're going to go Bonfire, Search Out, Snake Eye, Ash. And then normal summon, effect, grab out Poplar, and then summon out Poplar. You know, the one hand trap they have is one that we will probably not be able to cross out. Uh, so Poplar, grab out the Divine Temple, and then activate Wanted, grab out Black Witch, okay. Uh, now make Link Karibo, Poplar, spell traps on itself, summon Black Witch, send Poplar, effect, go set original, and then Divine Temple, sure, bring out Flame Burge, original, send Link Karibo, Bring out Jet Synchron, and then make a Savage. Savage Chain Link 1. They said okay, they don't even try to Magma up that. Sure, Snake Eye Ash, send, bring out Oak, and then Flame Burge Oak. So go ahead, bring out tons of bodies. Yeah, I'm trying to think. I guess the opponent's saving it for Flame Burge target IP. Uh, so they're going to make IP and then make Princess. Princess, summon back out. Oak sent itself plus Princess. Go bring out Snake Eye Ash. Wanted put back. Draw on the called by. And then Jet Synchron. Discard Black Witch. Special summon out. Make Formula. Formula. Draw Bonfire. Flame Burge on the IP. Chain Magma Mutt. And then, yeah, they're going to go ahead and Savage the hand effect of that. And then uh, Formula plus Savage. Just make Baron now. And then set Cross out. Set called by. And then pass turn. They draw Jet Synchron. Yeah, and then we can go Bestial Magma Mutt, target Link Karibo uh, to go ahead and banish and try to summon out. They're going to Baron to stop that. Uh, okay. Okay. Baron tag out in the formula. Sure. Yeah, I mean, the opponent's got to be fine with that. This Bestial Magma Mutt traded... With more than it should have. Normal summon out Snake Eye Ash. Snake Eye Ash effect. And then chain cross out. Hit Snake Eye Ash. They said think on res. Uh, they're going to go formula. Uh, to go make Baron. And then they're going to search out Poplar. Summon out Poplar. And Flame Burge to go ahead. Bring out Snake Eye Ash Poplar. Okay. And then they're going to go Poplar 1. They're going to go ahead and try to Baron that. But, what? Wait. One swat's face up on the field. When a card or effect is activated, quick effect. You can negate the activation. If you do destroy that card, you can only use the previous effect of Baron once per turn. Yeah, previous meaning what it says before which is the negate and destroy yeah 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 I, that checks out to me that, that, that didn't check out for them no yeah oh that's why they did all that okay because they thought that they could bear an effect again but the 
opponent also thought that they could bear an effect again. That's just not how it works. Yeah, but okay, all right, fair enough, fair enough. Otherwise, you know, decks could summon multiple Baron. But now they're gonna go ahead, discard Jets, summon out Black Witch, Black Witch effect. Uh, but you know, the craziest part about it is, you know, usually, like this is a 3v3 right now. So that means like almost minimum, there's like six heads watching this game right now, like playing it, and there may even be more. So it's like none of them caught that either. That's broken. That's broken. Uh, but Black Witch 1, Divine Temple 2, Summon Out IP, they go set original, sure. And then now uh, we're going to go IP effect, use itself plus Baron, make SP, SP effect, go banish original. Wow, now Monster Reborn can target Baron. Uh, so they said battle phase, start a battle phase, link Karibo. Sure, that does that, does, that actually changes nothing. Yeah, now Snake Eye Ash just attacks that, and then Black Witch is still gonna beat over that. Yup, and then uh, doesn't didn't that actually just make them lose a body because we're gaining 11 and they're not? So all they could do is Black Witch beat over SP, and then we still have Poplar, Snake Eye Ash, and we just actually lost a body there. Now they're gonna go Monster Reborn, target Baron. And then, yeah, go ahead, take that. And then we have Baron. Well, actually, yeah, they're going to Princess. We're going to Baron stop that. And then now we have Baron effect to pop. So Baron, pop back row, chain called by onto Jet Synchron. And then Baron plus Snake Eye Ash, make Hida. Then Hida, take Oak. And then Oak effect, summon back out the Jet Synchron. Okay. Now, Oak Sun Self plus Poplar, bring out Flame Burge. Then they have Flame Burge effect. Actually, let's see, I don't even think you Flame Burge effect there. Okay, they're going to go ahead and make Selene, gain counters, lose counters, summon back out from the graveyard, the Black Witch. And then now they're going to go make Savage. It's also crazy because between every single play, think. Think, think. <laughs> uh, we'll go open the Savage. And then Savage Effect. Uh, bring out Hida. And then make Access Code. Access Code Flame Burge. Gain 3000. Summon back out Jet Synchron and Poplar. And then Access Code Effect. Pop Flame Burge. Okay. And then Access Code plus Jet Synchron. Make Dark. Dark Effect. Go ahead, take IP. That's fine. And then use those to make Princess, Princess, bring out Flame Burge, okay. And then we have Flame Burge effect that can target Baron. And then link off Princess plus Poplar, make Raging Phoenix. And then just pass turn, draw Effect Veiler. So now we have a Flame Burge that can go ahead and take Baron there. We have Savage. Uh, the opponent doesn't even have like original in Graveyard. They do have... Princess there that they decided to not activate when they summoned out the Baron though, which uh, Would have at least forced some interaction out But yeah, I decided to not do that and now Yeah, we're just gonna be in main phase. We're gonna go set bonfire snake eye ash in itself Plus divine temple they savage it. Okay uh, Going on to the next game. You may ask why they set bonfire um, sometimes if you play your cards in a bad order, the opponent will use their interactions in a bad order. But now I got called by Ash, Talent, Summon Limit, Cross Out. So close from being FTK if this wasn't Ash Blossom. Then they have Talent, Snake Eye, Ash, Black Witch, Poplar, Lullaby of Obedience. Never mind, they didn't even have a hand trap. But still would have been very good. Uh, we're going to go set three, pass, to draw Divine Temple, Normal Summon Out, Snake Eye, Ash, Effect, Chain Cross Out onto that. And then discard Poplar, summon out Black Witch, effects ball trap zone, go set original, and then original send Poplar, activate summon limit, and then now they're gonna activate a lullaby of obedience, calling Ash Blossom, and you know they can't summon, so that's gonna go ahead and just add Ash Blossom, but they're gonna Ash Blossom to stop them from adding Ash Blossom. Uh, especially because you can't even called by the Ash Blossom because it would go to your graveyard, not their graveyard. And then activate Divine Temple, 
bring out Oak, Talons, draw Druid Swarm plus Econ. Okay. Are they even playing hand traps? They're gonna go ahead, attack, attack, set Econ, pass, draw one for one, set one for one, pass, they draw bonfire. Then just battle phase, attack, attack. Yup, okay, so GG, same account for the next one. So now we got Sean Killian versus Amai, and we know Amai is on the pure snake eye deck. It looks like without any hand traps. Um, so, well, I guess, like, they main deck Bestials, but we're gonna see Sean go first, 41 versus 40, we have Ash Blossom, Jet Synchron, Bonfire, Imperm, Black Witch, they have Sir Arvis, Druisworm, Magma, Eclipse, Droplet, thank gosh they lost to Rock, Paper, Scissors, Shoot, otherwise they would just be passing, um, but also they play Sir Arvis, they may have opened every search target for Magma, Mutt besides Flame Burge, which is obviously not gonna be a good search target here, um, so they're gonna go activate bonfire, grab out snake eye ash, and then summon effect. Yeah, but having uh, they have bestials, which are gonna be pretty good. Summon out poplar, poplar, grab out the divine temple, because they can actually stop uh, two different points of interaction here. Uh, they're gonna go ahead, you know, summon black witch set, you know, just very standard combo here. Uh, bring out Jet Synchron, go up in the Savage, Savage Effect, and then they just let it go, okay, they don't even try to stop it, maybe it's because last time they Savage stopped it, so this time they think they're gonna Savage stop it again, and then they can just activate another Bestial in response, so now they're gonna go Flame Burge, Oak, you know, Flood the Field, sure, and then make Formula, Draw into Black Witch, Jet Synchron, Discard, Special Summon out, and then they're gonna go ahead and make IP, and then make Princess, Princess, bring out Oak, and then Oak send itself plus Princess, bring out Flame Burge, Flame Burge, target IP, and then chain Druus Worm, and then in response, they're thinking, uh, they said okay, sure, so banish IP. Summon out, and then Savage plus Formula, go up into Baron, and then Baron, pop Druus Worm, Druus Worm on the Baron, chain Baron, set Imperm, and then try to pass, end phase, Bestial Magma Mutt, banish, special summon out, and also banishing the Formula there is actually so huge, because they can't tag out into it and then make another Baron. Uh, but now they're gonna go Magma Mutt, go search, well, I guess add back here. Just grab back Truist, pass, they draw bonfire. And then standby phase. Baron tag out into Flame Burge. Okay. Uh, bonfire, chain Ash Blossom, which is honestly a really good Ash Blossom there. Uh, activate Book of Eclipse to set the field. And then they're thinking in response. Because, I mean, this is going to beat Princess. Yeah, it just beats Princess. Uh, you know, Magma Mutt gets set. They just flip it back up. Uh, Druist Worm, Banish, Special Out, and then make Dark Charmer. Uh, Dark Charmer effect, go take Black Witch. Uh, then they're going to Imperm that, Chain Sir Arvis to stop it. Summon, effect, go set Original. Okay, Original, Send, bring out Snake Eye Ash. And then Snake Eye Ash effect, go search. Uh, there's thinking okay I said think here on what to do exactly uh, they're gonna grab out a jet synchron okay normal summon out jet synchron snake eye ash and self plus dark charmer summon out flame burge and then use those to make heat uh okay I mean this is just game yeah, this is literally just game flame burge summon back out snake eye ash jet synchron and then, now they're gonna go Ash into Linkrebo. Uh, Hita, take Oak. Oak, bring out Snake Eye, Ash. Okay. And then, set thinking from here. Now we're gonna make Formula. Formula, draw into Wanted. Hold on, am I thinking about this wrong? Well, can't we just, like, do the World Sea Raging Phoenix, banish special summon these back out in set? position princess pop and then 
Raging 1, Flame Birch 2, Summon back out. I guess they get to 4 bodies. And we only have World Sea Pop 2. And we have Flame Burge. Just spell on Trap Zone 1. So they still have one body left. But it's like a small body. But I guess it is an attack position. Huh. Um. I think that'd still be game though, right? Now they're going to go Oak Sense, Self plus Link Karibo. Bring out Flame Burge. But I, I guess... I guess this also will probably just work out anyways. Uh, go ahead and make Selene. Selene effect, special summon back out. Yeah, yeah, this also works. Because we could just go Baron and then access code. Okay, okay. Access code, gang attack. And then banish, pop both. They're going to activate one of the effects. They Baron stop it. And then just attack for game. Yep, yep, yep. This is a lot more clean too. Also, like access code plus like a 3000 body next to it is iconic. So... Going on to the next game now, we will see Sean go first. We have Talons, Fenrir, Crossout, Poplar, Wanted. That hand's really good. They have Econ, Talons, Reborn, Fenrir, Wanted. Okay, so we're going to go Special Summon out Fenrir. Effect, go search out Fenrir. And then activate Wanted. Grab out Black Witch. Okay. And then Summon Black Witch, discard Fenrir. Effect. Go set original, normal summon out, poplar, effect, grab out divine temple, and then make the link karibo, poplar, spell trap zone, divine temple, go bring out flame burge, original, send, bring out oak, and then oak effect, summon back out poplar, and then oak send itself, plus link karibo, bring out snake eye ash, effect, go grab out poplar, and then summon poplar, snake eye ash, send, bring out flame burge, and then Flame Burge plus Poplar to make the IP. Flame Burge summon back out from the graveyard. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's fine. Black Witch plus IP make Princess. Princess bring out Flame Burge. Flame Burge onto IP. And then now we're going to go Poplar plus Princess up in the Hida. Okay, and then Selene counters, lose counters, make Appalooza. Yep, that's fine. And then we have set cross out. Oh, yeah, we, we have wanted to. Yep, yep, yep. Wanted, draw on the rock. And that's pretty strong. Uh, set cross out, pass. They draw poplar. Now, summon out Fenrir. And then Fenrir effect. Go search. They chain cross out onto Fenrir there. Okay. I mean, the opponent's got to be really fine with that, right? Like, honestly, like, very, very okay with that. Um, so now they're going to go chain econ. Uh, to try to go ahead and just take the Appalooza, uh, activate Wanted, go search out Black Witch. Yeah, it's like, I don't know, that cross-out was weird. The opponent's definitely fine with it, though. Like, honestly, that cross-out trades so well because it trades with their Fenrir, but it also trades with our Fenrir. Like, it doesn't just stop the opponent. Like, it, it stops everyone. So, yeah, now they're going to go summon out Poplar, and then Divine Temple to bring out IP. They go search out Divine Temple, and then activate Divine Temple, bring out Snake Eye Ash. Now Poplar and the Link Karibo. Poplar spell traps on itself, and then Chain Princess onto Flame Burge plus Appalooza. They said okay, so Pop, summon out. And then activate Flame Burge effect, yeah, and like they could have Apo stopped it, but then they get IP effect, where like now the IP is just, you know, it's kind of like a blank because they're locked in the fire. I mean, they can still make like Nightmare Phoenix, um, so they're going to go Flame Burge, Chain IP, make Nightmare Phoenix, bring out Oak, Ash, and then they're going to go Divine Temple, Chain Link 1, Phoenix 2, Ash 3, Oak 4, Summon Out Poplar, Pop Divine Temple, Go ahead, search Snake Eye Ash, Poplar, go search out Original. Yeah, well obviously this wasn't like a full blank, but... Yeah, now they're gonna go Talents, look at the hand. And then, yeah, hit back the Rock there. Then send Poplar, bring out Black Witch, go set Original. So all the interruptions have been used now. And now it's just simply up to the opponent to uh, cook through the board. That's really it. They just got to cook through the board. They haven't really gone through anything yet. Uh, original Sun Snake Eye Ash. Bring out Oak. 
And then Oak Effect, Summon back out Snake Eye Ash, Snake Eye Ash Effect, Go Search Out Poplar, and then Poplar Effect, Summon itself out, okay. Uh, Snake Eye Ash, Summon itself plus Link Karibo, Bring out Flame Burge. Uh-huh, I guess we do have to remember that Nightmare Phoenix was made with, uh, you know, IP. They spelled Trabzone Fenrir there, which wasn't really necessary. This card wasn't alive anyways. Go up in the Dark Charmer, uh, Dark Charmer effect, take IP, and then use those, make Princess, Princess, summon back out, and then use those, make Raging Phoenix, and then World C, and then World C effect, move things around, and then Princess to pop Oak plus Nightmare Phoenix. Um, yeah, cause it was made with IP, but then it was banished and resummoned back as a new monster. So then it forgets about it. Okay. And then Raging Phoenix summon out. Okay. And then go up into a Hida. And then Flame Bird summon back out two bodies from the graveyard. Sure. Hita, go take Nightmare Phoenix. And then use those to make Selene. Then gain counters, lose counters, summon Black Witch. And then we're going to make a access code. Effect, gain tons of attack. And then go ahead, pop Oak, Ash, Poplar. Yep, GG. Okay, so they didn't have to use Monster Reborn either. But okay, on to the next game. Now we have Sean Killian versus Amai. So, we will see, okay, okay, oh, Sean Killian wins the Rock, Paper, Scissors shoot there, they'll, they'll go first, 41 versus 40, we have Bestial, Lubellion, Safer, Druid Room, Chaos Base, Safer, they have Book of Eclipse, Bonfire, Poplar, Econ, Talents, oh gosh, oh gosh, like, Talents and Econ are, are, are pretty strong against this deck, well, I guess it depends what they go for, but, they're going to go Bistial Lubellion, go search out Bistial Magma Mutt, and then Chaos Space, discard Druus Worm, go search out White Dragon, and then summon out White by Banishing, go up in the Striker, and then 1, 2, search out Boot, search out Black, okay, and then summon out Black, Banish White, Chaos Space, put back, and then draw into an Effect Veiler. Now make Romulus and, you know, Romulus black, search out white, go search out Ravine, okay. Uh, now we're going to go activate Ravine, discard Safer to dump Abzerouter, Abzerouter, grab out Rocket Tracer, okay, Bestial Magma Mutt, banish black dragon, summon out, effects, search during the end phase, tribute that for Bestial Lubellion, Bestial Lubellion, bring out, you know, a very broken card, regained. Activate Boot, Summon out Tracer, now we're going to go Tracer into a Pisty, and then make a Triple Burst, and then Safer, Banish, add back to Bestial, Lubellion, uh, Regained, will not be used there, which makes sense because we're about to Pisty to Summon out Safer, and then we can Safer Descend, yeah, so, now we can go Safer, Descend Bestial, Lubellion, go search out Levy. Yep, that's fine. Now, Banish Darks, Summon Out Levy, Levy 1, Regain 2, Put Back Striker, Draws Imperm, another Interruption, and Rips Bonfire from the hand. Okay, that's solid. Uh, now we're going to make Borolin, Borolin Effect, Stop Pisty, Bring Out Tracer, and then Normal, Summon Out the Safer. Okay, go up in the seal, and then we still have Tracer Effect, Pop Boot, bring out Rocket Recharger, and then make Savage, Savage Effect. Yup, uh, then we have Set Imperm, End Phase, go grab out Ball Drake, off the Magma Mutts. There's a lot of interruptions, a lot of interruptions. Okay, uh, then Pass, so they draw Wanted, Activate Book of Eclipse, they just let it go. You know, they don't want to play in the town there. You know, they did do it in the main phase. So, sure, just get that set. Even if we negate it, nothing really changes. Besides, like, the attack and defense of this is a little bit different. Well, you know, I guess it's a pretty big difference. But, okay, now they're going to go Poplar Effect, Chain Borland, shut it down. Now, Wanted, go search out Black Witch. And then they're going to go Activate Talents to take. And then there's thinking they're gonna go seal effect 
Tribute, Bounce Back, Poplar. Sure. Then they take Borland, New Chain Link, Seal 1, Poplar 2, Summon Out. Yep. And then they're going to bring out Druus Worm from the deck off of the Seal in attack position. Sure. This has 0 0. Um. Okay. Make Link Karibo, Poplar, Spell Traps on itself, Send Poplar, Bring Out Black Witch, Effect, and then we Imperm that. Now they do have Econ if they want to chain that. Yeah, Activate, Tribute, Take Druus Worm. Uh, they're going to go ahead and set Original. And then we're thinking if we want to summon out Baldrake. Let me see, summoning Baldrick's actually not like the worst thing ever. Also, because once they out it, then we just regain summon it back but I guess it won't really work because it could out everything if they want to so they're gonna go original we chain ball drake banish special summon out and then they bring out oak and then they're gonna go oak effect and the reason why we ball drake there is to get rid of link karibo uh, so that way we're able to veiler but now they're gonna go oak one regain two veiler three so shut that down Put back Link Karibo. Oh my gosh, they draw Sorn here there. That's solid. It's actually a very, very good draw. Uh, activate Wanted. Put back Original. And then draw. Draw on the Sararvis. Which they could have used before against, you know, a lot of the things. I guess they can still work against Baldrick now. So they don't have to, like, enter Battle Phase. So now Borlin plus Oak. Make Dark Charmer. And then they're going to go Baldrick to try to stop that. They Sararvis. It doesn't destroy. Yeah. The on-field effect to, like, add back and banish like that gets rid of it. But the hand effect doesn't destroy. So now they have Dark Charmer effect. To try to go ahead, take Borolin, and then Chain Sworn here. Yeah, they admit defeat. The They'd have to link off Drew Swim for their next play, and then Drew Swim out, whatever they go for. Uh, so now we have uh, Mai going first. We got Quick Launch, Levy, White Dragon, Nib, Drew Swim. They have Called by Poplar, Summon Limit, 1 for 1, Wanted. So they're going to go 1 for 1. Discard Poplar, bring out Snake Eye Ash, and then Ash, Poplar, Spell Trap Zone, go search out Poplar, and then summon out Poplar, and then Poplar Effect, go grab out the Divine Temple, and then they're going to chain Wanted, yeah, so go ahead, search Black Witch, grab out Divine Temple, activate Divine Temple, bring out Flame Burge, make Link Karibo, send poplar summon out black witch black witch effect go set original original sun link karibo bring out jet synchron and then use jet synchron plus black witch make savage savage effect chain rock yeah so we just had to rock there um because we could have drew a swim and then rock later on and then drew a swim would be able to you know go ahead and out something like the token but divine temple summon out flame burge go up in the ip but i guess this is fine because now there's going to be you know going for like standard stuff they're going to go snake eye ash send itself plus divine temple bring out oak oak bring out poplar and then wanted banish put back original draw into a fenrir which obviously won't be working there make princess princess summon out flame burge and then they're going to go Oak, Sun itself, plus Princess, bring out Flame Burge. Now Jet Synchron, Discard, Special, and then they said Think. Uh, I mean, yeah, that part's fine. Cause they'll be going up in the Formula next for sure. It's not like they're going to go straight up into a Baron. So Formula, go draw. Draw on the Black Witch. It's like they could draw a Swarm on IP there, um, but they decide not to. Now go up in the Baron. Flame Burge on the IP. Yep. If they drew a swarm it, they Baron stop it, Baron pop. Baron can tag out in the formula next turn, which then gives them Baron again. So Baron pop, set called by, summon limit, pass, they draw rock. So now activate quick launch, bring out rocket tracer. Then, yeah, they're going to go flame burge to summon out IP. Then IP effect to go make SP. And then they're going to activate SP, Flame Burge, Chain Tracer to go summon, which honestly they're very fine with because now they can uh, flip a summon limit whenever they want to. Uh, Oak, Poplar, grab out the original, and then uh, add back Snake Eye Ash, sure, flip summon limit, pass, draw Snake Eye Ash. Now get rid of summon limit, summon out Black Witch, effect, go set Wanted. 
Uh, we have Bear and that good Pop Rocket Recharger. We're going to go up into an Appalooza first. Poplar, Spell Trap Zone, Flame Birds. Yeah, they admit defeat. So going on to game three now, we will go ahead and we will see Sean go first. We have Valor, Ash Blossom, Boot, Regain, Jerusalem. Unfortunate. They have Ball Drake, Talents, Divine Temple, Snake Eye, Ash, and Called By. Yeah, they probably don't main deck that many Bestials, but then side decking the even more of them. Activate, regain, pass, they draw Jurusworm, normal summon at Snake Eye Ash, we Valor, they called by, we chain Jurusworm onto Valor. Yeah, to go ahead and dodge the called by there. And then regain defect, put back, draw, draw on the Sornier, Divine Temple, bring out Poplar, talents to draw, chain Ash Blossom. Yeah, it's actually working out very good for Sean Killian here, a lot better than I kind of thought it would have ended up going out. Um, but we're gonna go activate Boot, Boot, summon out Tracer from the hand, Divine Temple, summon out Poplar, Poplar, go grab out the original Sinful Spoils, and then use those to make a Dispatter, Druus Worm to send Poplar, Poplar, Spell Traps on itself, Sornir to banish Tracer, and then they chain Druus Worm to banish Tracer, and then they said think in the same chain, okay, because they could have Baldrick also banished there. But now they're just going to go regain defect to summon back out Druus Worm. They chain Ball Drake, banish the Druus Worm, and they say okay. Regain, put back, draw quick launch, and then Dispatter to summon back out Tracer. Uh, so the, 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 the quick launch was pretty good. And let's say otherwise. Huh, how do we want to play this? Okay, we're going to beat over Ball Drake, main phase 2, make a seal. And then Tribute Summon for Sornir, Seal Effect, go Summon. And you know, the Disc Pattern will come back eventually off of the Regang. Uh, but we bring out Saferd, Saferd and the Black Dragon. And then Summon out Black by Banishing Seal. Now make Dark Charmer and then activate the effects. Uh, dump this to Lubellion, go search out White Dragon. Saferd, grab Lubellion, Lubellion, discard, go grab out Magma Mutt. We have Dark Charmer that can still go take. That's going to take out Baldrake. And then summon White by banishing Black. Now use those to make Chaos Angel. Chaos Angel, banish Divine Temple. And then Bestial Magma Mutt, banish, special summon out, effect, search during the end phase, and then use those to make SP. And then we're going to go SP to banish Druus Worm, activate Quick Launch, summon out Rocket Tracer. Now we can go into a Pisty. Okay, we're going to go Pop Boot, bring out Rocket Recharger. Sure. And then make Pisty. And then Pisty Effect, summon back out, bring out Seal, Dark Charmer, Seal, Pisty, make Borland, Borland Effect, Perma Shut Down, Snake Eye, Ash, bring out Rocket Recharger, and then go up in the Savage, Savage Effect to equip. This is so beautiful to watch. And then end phase, grab out Druus Worm. Doesn't grab out Ball Drake. Sure. Uh, I wonder if they play another target for Tracer to make this an interruption. Uh, but grab back. And then pass. They draw Oak. So they're thinking on how they want to play this. It won't work though. They have Boiling SP Savage. They're going to make Link Karibo. Uh, I mean, I guess if they play... Uh yeah, I guess if they play Typhoon, it works a little bit better, but it won't even work then. Scott, they're going to go Regain, Summon out this Pattern, Normal Summon out Oak, Effect Target Snake Eye Ash, and then Chain SP on itself, plus Link Karibo, Chain Boralen to shut down Oak, bring out Rocket Tracer, and then Regain, put back Link Karibo, said Sec, how's SP using its effect, use Oak. You regained first. Oh, wait. True, 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 true. Wait, yeah, 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 yeah. That won't work. That won't work. That won't work. Yeah. Yep. I regained on Link Karibo summon. Wait. Did they? Summon Link Karibo. Um. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Wait. Okay, yeah, I just got gaslit into thinking the wrong thing happened there. Um, 
Yeah, summon Link Karibo, declared Reging, summon back out. Okay, then they normal summoned out Oak. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. No, 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 no. Okay, 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 okay. Well, Sean ends up winning that game. So, yeah, next is Evil Sherion. So we got Sean Killian versus Evil Sherion. And then we're going to go ahead and see Sean win the Rocky Bristol shoot. They decide to go first, 41 versus 40. Opening hands, we have Black Metal, Sornir, Saferd, Chaos Space, Bastille, Lubelion. They have Oak, Imperm, Kieran, Imperm, Talons. So, you know, they're lucky that they didn't go first. Uh, Mix Striker. And then 1 2. Go search out Boot. Go search out Red MD. That's fine. Then summon out Red MD by banishing Effect. Special summon back out the Black Metal. And then Bestial Lubellion. Discard. Go search for Magma Mutt. And then we contribute Red MD for the Bestial Lubellion. And then Bestial Lubellion Effect. And, yeah, they're going to go ahead and imperm that, use those, make Romulus, Romulus effect, they imperm that, Chaos Base, discard Safer, go search out Black Dragon, and then, now they're going to go Special Summon out Black by Banishing Safer, make Pisty, Black, go search White, and then we can go Special Summon out White by Banish Black, and then Chaos Base, Banish Black. Put back black, draw into a safer, and then Romulus plus white in the triple burst, white effect, go search out black, okay, pisty effect, summon out safer, and then we have safer effect that we can use to go get access to rocket tracer, yep, send the safer from hand to go grab that, and then bestial magma mutt, banish red MD, summon out effect. Go search during the end phase, activate boot to summon out tracer from the hand, and then go into a disc patter. Disc patter, summon out striker dragon. Okay, striker dragon, uh, safer triple burst, make boil end, boil end effect, shut down pisties, summon out tracer, activate sornier, banish, summon out. Okay, and then make seal with the Sornier Pisty, Sornier effect, go dump. We still have Tracer effect to go make Savage. Yeah, they admit defeat. So moving on to game two, we will go ahead and we will see Evil Sherion go first. And that was like through double Imperm too. We have Ash, White Dragon, Imperm, Quick Launch, Rocket Recharger. They have Black Witch, Snake Eye, Ash, Cross Out, Talon, Sanctuary. Okay, so they're playing the Fire King. Well, I mean, we already knew that. We saw Kieran in the hand last game. Yeah, so normal summon that Snake Eye Ash effect, Imperm, Chain Cross Out, Call Imperm, Grab Poplar, Summon Poplar, Poplar effect, Go Search, and then grab out the uh, Divine Temple. Okay, now they're going to grab out Original. I was going to say, because they have Black Witch, um, but now they have Talons. Wait. Wait. Well, I'm tripping so bad they can't Talons. Okay. So they're going to go ahead, send, and then get hit with Ash Blossom. Now they can Talents. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yep, 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 yep. Talents like a hand. Oh, this is going to be game, to be honest. Hit back. Yeah, they have Quick Launch plus Rocket Recharger. Sanctuary in the Island. Original send. Bring out Oak. And then activate Oak effect. Special summon back out Snake Eye Ash. And then Oak send self plus Link Karibo. Bring out Flame Burge. And then they're going to activate... Uh... I'm so confused what just happened there. Um, okay. Oh, uh, they're going to go ahead, so, and now island. Sure, grab out, summon out, and then effect, destroy Arvata, and then they're going to make a sunlight wolf. Mm-hmm. And then Flame Birch to summon out Oak Poplar. And then Sunlight Wolf, add back Flame Birch. And then make Princess. Princess, summon out the Arvata from the graveyard. Go up in the Hida effect. Take Ash Blossom. And then use those to make Selene, Appalooza, pass. So we could have also just used three to make Apple. Yeah, we could have used three to make apple there. Just give it a oak. Um, but now they're gonna go. Oh, oh, they didn't shuffle the deck. Okay, so draws imperm, and then they just submit the feet. So going on to game number three now. We will see Dragon Link go first. Opening hands we have Ravine, Baldrick, Tracer, Valor, Bestial, Lubellion. They have Garunix, Oak, Ponix, Drusworm, Island. 
Oh gosh. All they have is one Druus Worm. So they're gonna go. And their hand doesn't even have like good Snake Eye stuff in it yet. They're gonna go Lebelion, grab out Magma Mutt. I mean, they could get to it if they wanted, but oh, it's so tough. Yeah, Lebelion, grab out Bastille, Magma Mutt, Normal Summon out Tracer, Nick Striker Dragon, Striker Dragon, go search out Boot. And then here, Magma Mutt to banish Tracer. And then the opponent's going to activate Druus Worm to banish the Tracer. Okay. Ravine, discard Magma Mutt, dump Abza Router, Abza Router, grab out Rocket Tracer. Then we do have Baldrick that can banish Abza Router. Yeah, summon out. Then we can activate Boot. Boot, summon out Tracer. And then use those to go summon out Dispatter, Dispatter, summon out Rocket Tracer, we can tribute Dispatter for Bestial Lebelion, Lebelion effect, bring out Reganged, okay, uh, now Lebelion plus Striker to make SP, SP, Banish Druid Swarm, Reganged, put back, uh, then they're gonna go ahead Chain Tracer to pop, bring out Rocket Recharger, and then we draw into a anti-spell. Okay, make savage, savage effect, spell trap zone, the striker dragon. We'll equip it to anti-spell pass. Okay, okay. So pass, they draw a bonfire. Oh gosh, it just plays into the anti-spell even worse. Standby phase, uh, flip the anti-spell. And then now they're just gonna go set pass. And then they draw Bestial Sworn here. Yeah, I mean, it's not like there's any guarantee that this player will be able to go for a game or anything here. Uh, so they're just going to go activate Bestial Sworn here on the Tracer. Summon out. Reganged. Put back. Draw an Ash Blossom. Okay. Uh, now they're going to use SP plus Sworn here. Go open the Triple Burst. And then Sornir to go dump the Bastille Lebelion. Normal summon out Ash Blossom. Make access code. Access code gain 3000 attack. Effect. Pop Ponix. Garunix hand effect. We negate with Savage. And then try to go for game. And then it goes through. Yep. GG's. GG's. Wow. Okay. Uh, the, 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 the Dragon Link was able to work it back for him. The Dragon Link was able to work it back for them there. Uh, this deck is definitely... It, it's weird. It's weird, right? Because, like, the Bestials are somewhat hand traps. Especially against, like, uh, you know, like, the Peer build. Uh, or against, like, Voiceless Voice. You know, this deck has a pretty good matchup against that. But, wow. Well, I did not expect Dragon Link to pop off like that. Um, all right, yeah, that's going to be it for the Iron Man. Uh, we end up seeing Sean Killian's team win the $150, and GG Gibriel's team loses $150. Uh, there also is going to be another Iron Man uh, getting uploaded tomorrow. Also, my bad for this getting uploaded late. I mean, it's practically 1 p.m. already, and I'm supposed to upload at 1 p.m., and then I also got to, you know, edit the little part out now, so it's going to go up even later, but that's my bad. That's my bad. I just need to get videos, like, scheduled ahead instead of recording and then trying to upload them on schedule, but all right, with all that being said, the DB Grinder signing off. Peace. Have a nice day. Stay safe.